Hey everybody, welcome in. We are getting ready to load in to our fifth race of the season, so welcome back to our NASCAR career mode here in the NASCAR the game, or I can't even remember what the name of this game is. It's a victory edition, I know that much. Um, but yeah, NASCAR 15, uh, so we're on our fifth race of the year. You can see I've raced here a few different times, uh, pretty good average I'd say, average finished a second. But um, yeah, we gotta, we're going to stick to what we got here. 30 lap race, uh, which is pretty long, but that's all right. I like having a decently long race where stuff can play out. Um, we got a rebound from Phoenix. Phoenix was a was a trash heap. We did awful, 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 awful last week, so we definitely got to uh, improve on that. I did actually run a, uh, let's see, there we go. I actually did run a, uh, a couple of upgrades this week. I ran a better engine and a better, um, what else did I run? A better engine and a better something else. It wasn't the chassis. What did I have? I know I upgraded a couple different parts. I think it was engine and... Oh, my. Definitely don't want to have that too close. Um, but, yeah, I upgraded a couple things, so we'll see how they work out uh, in this race here. So we'll get through a couple laps here, practice, make sure the thing handles just decent. I'll tune on it the rest of the way through the race. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I just want to make sure that... Um, oh, I should shift. See, I, if I had my sound, I would actually not have done that, but I don't have my sound on, so... Um, but yeah, basically we're just going to go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, we got a little, little bit wonky yet. So I still got a little room to go here, but, um, yeah, so we're going to get in here, do a few practice laps, make sure the thing handles just okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Said I'll tune on it make sure, I just want to make sure it's not what we had at Phoenix last week, which was an utter trash heap of a car. That was, uh, unbearable. Yeah, that was a bad corner on my part. I don't think the car is terrible. Ooh, man, already? Already? Are you kidding me? That's not good. Yep. Whoa, come on, easy Just now. cleaned it out. Let's go to the garage here. <sighs> Got really loose out of that corner. Um, hmm. Seemed a little tight yet. Did I get my setup in here? All right. Anyway, um, so actually today I was going to say, I was looking at, um, let's see, I want to do that, but what's my, my track? My track was at nine. I don't like going higher on the track bar, but boy, it sure seems like I can do it. Uh, let me make sure there's no assists. Yep, no, all good there. Now let's get back out on the track. Um, but yeah, so I was listening to a couple of things, and um, I was listening to, I think it was Motor Mouth, uh, the NBC show, and I was really intrigued by their analysis of Atlanta for one big reason. A lot of people were saying that 500 mile races need to go. They're too long, they're too boring, and I mean... I, I don't understand, I guess, the idea that every race needs to be 300 miles. Like, you can't have a, an endurance race. I mean, for crying out loud, marathons aren't fun, but that makes you really appreciate that a human being can run 26 entire miles. You know, it's there's an appreciation for it. So that's the same kind of thing. Like, a 500-mile race, I, I kind of appreciate the guys that can go out there and win 500-mile races. Um, you know, it's just it's kind of one of those things. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the idea that, uh, you know, uh, you got to be able to go out there and basically be absolutely perfect and run it at a good 300 mile pace. I mean, when you have a 500 mile race, you've got time to recover from from incidents and jump. Oh man, this thing's tight! Holy cow! That thing beat to crap already. Um, but but overall, I, I don't mind a 500 mile race. Now, should they all be 500 miles? No, not not at all. But um, you know, I think we should definitely have a chunk of them at 500 miles. I mean. You can't just get rid of the 500 mile races to me. That just seems a little, a little silly. Um, so up, I definitely sure don't want to see that up. go anywhere. I don't want to see us lose 500 mile races just so we can appease a very uh, small fraction of a fan base that you know. I mean, I, I don't mean to be disparaging towards certain fans or anything, but look, the people that complain about races being boring and they're so boring and they don't like it. I'm sorry, go watch something else. If you can't handle a 50-lap green flag run, don't watch racing, honestly. Like, there's other t types of racing that race in much shorter, you know, formats. The entire idea that, you know, everything needs to be constant action is just, it's silly. I mean, there, there's no reason that we need to have non-stop crazy action all the time. So, yeah, this car is still not very good. Um, you know, that's something that really kind of bugged me. And then, of course, hearing a couple different people who were talking about the uh, championship race need to move to Daytona. Um, that, to me, was just the dumbest thing I'd ever heard in my life. Thinking that you can crown a legitimate champion by somehow, um, <laughs> somehow by, uh, you know, having, let's see, here, there we go, let's 
go back to the, well, actually we can keep it at nine. Really concerning though. I guess we'll keep it there and see. Um, how was our tire pressure? Those tires were good. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll keep that where it's at. All right, let's see how we do. Yeah, save. See how our changes go. Um, but overall, it's just I, you know, I, I, I'm a little concerned with the disparity in the fan base. There's a lot of fans, and I don't mean this to disparage, but there's a lot of fans who basically can't stand another chunk of the fans. You have very polar opposites. You have some that want six stages in a race because then it's more exciting. And you have other fans that can't stand stage racing, and that's a problem. You can't have people that disparage. I mean, Watch it's like saying you have fans in football that, that can't stand eye. scoring and ones that love scoring. You can't have both. You know, you got to have people that just in general like the game. So that's that's a concern when you're talking about a fan base that really is this not is in no agreement right. on anything. We'll so, um, you know, hopefully that that's not something that continues. On, okay, yeah, that's going to work a lot better. So Let's do this now. it's like we tuned it up a little bit better here. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a concern. I, I will 100% agree on that, on that standpoint. So let's get into qualifying here now that we've finally tuned the car in and, um, get into the first part of this race. Um, see if I can get myself into the next round, try and get out of this pit stop or pit sequence ahead of everybody else. I don't remember. Can you get out up on the track right away or do you get black flag for that? I don't think you do. I just like getting way out in front of everybody else so I don't have to worry about anyone. I'm going to run fairly high in this corner, I think, to try and uh, get a good run through the corner here. should help me uh, get a good lap, or at least a good start to my lap for qualifying here. Now, Fontana's a weird track. You can run the top here, but it's a lot harder than it is at, say, Kansas, one of my favorite tracks to run the top. Um, but I know there is definitely some speed down here on the bottom. And if you can really get it to start hooking right, it'll really get you a good time out of the corner there. It wasn't my best corner, but I can definitely, uh, I'll accept it. <laughs> I've had, uh, I've had much worse for sure. But yeah, you just kind of let it coast to the bottom, and, and it does. The, the car actually gets very, very tight uh, partway through the run. So, it's a little interesting. I, I'm definitely curious to see where we kind of end up on the chart here. 37.05, I will accept that considering I was so much worse um, in the other two in the practice session there. So uh, I think I still have a little bit of room in this car to do better. Um, I think I only got to get to the top 24, so we should be good. I'm going to take a pit stop here. Um, let's get Drex by me here. And then uh, we'll get down into pit road here and uh, cool the tires down. I might even make a small wedge adjustment. It's really, it's not bad. But I definitely want to be able to rotate outside. the corner a little more. I think if You're I take a little side. more wedge out of it, that seems to really be helping. Because, um, again, if it's really loose off the start, that's okay, because it, it does really tighten up road. as the tires wear. Ooh, boy. Yes, yeah, man. Right, okay, buddy, we're standing by. Let's go to wedge. We're going to go down another two ticks, and we're going to... No, we're not touching the track bar. We're going to leave that exactly where it is. Man, eh, maybe we'll go up one notch. And hope we don't wreck ourselves. One minute wait time. Let's see what you do. But, uh, yeah, it looks like I was two tenths faster than everybody there. So, um, you know, I just got to make sure that my car doesn't abuse uh, the tires too badly um, for the next couple of rounds. Um, we'll see. If this car is really, really hard to control in the next session, then we'll know <laughs> We'll know something. But hopefully we can uh, we can get through it here. So, Oh, I'm down to fourth, guys. They, uh, they passed me. There's a minute left in the session yet. Man, that's a long time. But I'm still in the top five, so I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Um, but we're going to make sure that I can at least control this car. We'll take a couple harder corners at it and see how we do. So if I got two good corners out of this car, if I think I can really feel it, if it feels good and really easy to drive or just, you know, toler I can tolerate it a lot more, um, then I think I'm going to call her. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here. It's, I mean, on old tires, it's still turning okay. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it is turning decent. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of a lap time I run up here. Oh, this thing is really tight. Holy cow, that's tight. Wow. 
I mean, that is, that is not a good sign. I just gotta get even more on that. We'll get it figured out. Because, yeah, I can get to the gas and it starts to rotate a little too much. Which isn't the worst thing in the world if you can, as long as it can hold it halfway hanging out like that. You can get away with it. But, uh, yeah, the, the way I came out of turn two today was not pretty. So we're into the next round. We'll see. I may have to make a slight adjustment. We'll see how the first part of the next round runs. Um, we'll just get out there and make our work quick. How many is that? Is that 24? It looks like 24. So it looks like we got three total rounds uh, in this one here. Oh, for crying out loud. These batteries are junk. They're so light. I mean, I can feel how cheap they are. No, don't wreck me. Well, I almost lost that due to a stupid battery. That would have been, that would have been really dumb, man. All right, so here we go. We're gonna see how this thing kind of handles if I don't destroy the car first. Just kind of pinch it into the corner. Duh, too much, not too much. I want it to, I want it to stick out a little bit. I don't want it to full blown spin on me. Um, but I do like the fact that it, I can get it to rotate with the throttle. That's usually a okay sign for my driving style, so. Oh, this thing is so tight. Holy cow. I mean, I was off the court. Man, that's bad. I am not a fan of this car right now. It's really good on fresh tires, but I mean, I'm off the gas, off the gas, off the gas, and now I can finally get back to the gas. Like, and now I'm still too tight. Off the gas again. Like, this is bad. So we get, we're going to have to do something different. This thing is way too slow. I mean, we're, what did I run, a 3960? That's that's awful. So we're going to have some work to do here. Uh, I'm not really sure what I can do about it, but we'll see if we can find a way to make this thing kind of rotate the corner without having to spin itself out. Nah, it's still trying to spin itself out. Yeah, so this thing's junked right now. I can't get any any speed out of it. I mean, I'm a whole second, man. I'm almost two full seconds off the pace. So we, we got a little closer. I mean, my first lap was really good. I had a really good qualifying setup, but boy, once you're one lap on the tire, this thing turns into junk. So we're just going to have to accept 24th. I don't think we're going to have a shot to make another run at it. Nice bet anyway. Um, let's see here. So track bar's at 9.8 and the wedge is at 47. I'll bring that track bar back down to 9.3. Um... Gosh, I really don't know if I should change it. Maybe I'll drop this down two more ticks and see if I can get something out of it. Where's the repair? Can I not repair it? Doesn't look like I can repair it. It just doesn't matter. There's no, there's no time left anyway. So uh, this should pretty much end it right here. So we'll end up 24th and 20th. And I don't know how many cars actually qualified for. Oh, what the heck? Why am I out on the track? I thought this thing would really be over. I only got 17 seconds left. So... Yeah, this one's over. I can't fix the car, so we'll just sit here. Uh, somehow there's 25 cars in this session, so I'm not sure how that happened. Um, but anyway, we will. Um, we'll just kind of accept our fate down here. Man, I didn't shift again because I have again no sound. If I heard it, I probably wouldn't have done that. So, I guess we'll just run it back to this checkered flag quick. So 24th, not not terrible. I definitely wanted to do better than that. Um, but, man, that thing is just nasty. I mean, it's still hanging halfway out, and you can see it really catch and jump really tight. So, uh, well, yeah, we're going to have to do something with this car. Oh, don't just do this. Come on. Really? We had to do that coming to the freaking flag? Come on. Jeez. <laughs> So we got a little bit of work to do on it. I thought the setup was good, but man, it's good for about one lap. After that, it turns into absolute doo-doo. Um, let's see here. Let's get down here to the tuning. And we're going to try and edit something on here and make it just something that makes it a little bit better. Um, we'll drop that down to 46, 47. No, let's drop. Let's actually take that up. Let's take that to 48. And we're going to leave our track bar up to 9.5. Let's see how that works. I think that might help. I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I want to change. Save. Save. There we go. 
All right, we're just going to go to the race. Um, like I said, we'll tune the rest from there. Uh, it's not the worst car I've had in the world, but certainly not the best. Um, so we'll see how we, how we get here. Um, but we'll have our little intro here. Help begin the race. I hope I applied the setup, otherwise I'm in trouble. From sunny Southern California, welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the ah, Mike Auto Joy, Club gotta love 400. It. I'm Mike Joy with Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip. Mike, I believe Casey Kane is starting on pole, mile, so I got to cheer him on you today. Need everything you got in a race car, you need great horsepower, great aerodynamics. Ooh, Carl Edwards starting in the back. Thing, Mike, good fuel mileage. Yes, four to Kyle Busch, ninety thousand fans. Jimmy John, oh Reddish. that Jimmy car. Mm -hmm. Well, and I got to go with the Jimmy Johnson. Car. Five wins here is average finish. Five point hey. four, if you can believe it. Twenty fifteen car. We're not is it? Far from Surf City and the I don't remember what his twenty fifteen Delta car looked like, honestly. At the end of this one. They got Boyer's car on the back there, which is the old model, too. Kind of funny. Um, they just probably ported it over from the other game. So starting 24th, um, we'll see how we can do here. I think I'm going to try and run real high through the first set of corners, see if I can get a decent run, but I'm not uh, not too keen. I don't like starting mid-pack like this, at least not on the top. Your options are very limited, so. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, and sometimes you can get one of them goofy restarts where... A bunch of guys like jump sideways and junk. Car down low. Car yeah, you can top. see I'm Just getting looking. split, but I am close to the bottom, so I'll, I'll take that. Looking outside. Car up top. Ooh, not good, not Car good. I am you. soaring high. Holy crap! I about just sent Stenhouse clear up into the wall. So yeah, this this thing is Car still extremely tight. Um, right not really sure what I can inside. really do about that right now, honestly. I'm going to try and rim ride a little bit. I'm um, not sure if we got a good run or if that was just these guys all checking up. I mean, I'll take it, don't get me wrong, but not sure where we're at because we did lose four spots nonetheless. Three wide, two outside. Car outside, at your door. Uh, we're loose, inside, we're loose. There's no doubt about that, we are loose. Well, I shouldn't say that. We're loose under throttle. We're still a, it's a very, very tight race car. Outside. The essential reason I'm quote unquote loose is car because outside. I am way too hard on the on the throttle. I shouldn't be near that hard on it, top. but um, you can kind of get away with it if you just stutter it. So, clear. look at all this zigging and zagging going on up here. Said it's Point not outside. like my lap times are better. So, As a matter of fact, outside. they are much worse. Car outside, yeah. But uh, we'll just continue to ride in here and see what we can do. Outside. It's my car way wide. harder to drive. Clear up top. Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna we be another long one. This car is focused. also utter junk. I'm not really sure why, because these setups usually work pretty darn well, but all man, right, they are you. not working for me to this Just in this uh, career pace. mode at all. Good. Maybe maybe got a maybe got a different Three type wide. of setup in the career inside. versus uh it's kinda like online and offline. You have to have two Clear totally left. different setups because the cars react totally differently. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But man, I am I have got some massive flaws in these cars. I mean look at this thing, just soar straight out to the wall. By the time I can finally get in the gas, I I still can't get in the gas. I mean I'm I'm almost all the way off the corner and I still can't get in the gas. So we we got problems. We're gonna have to sort this out. Uh, we're about halfway through a fuel run, so I I don't have to go in for quite a bit yet. But, uh, I mean, he said if I can feather it through a corner, I mean, I, I, I use the whole corner, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. And we are still moving forward. It's it's really a weird combination. But uh, I am certainly burning up my uh, my right rear tire. Oh, that's not a good look. No, don't send me, don't send me, don't send me, don't send me. <laughs> That's some beating and banging right there. I'm going to make a good race win out of this. Although, judging by how far away Johnson is, I don't think there's going to be any race win for me. Jimmy Johnson is gone. I mean, you can just look out towards the front, and he is just absolutely flying. All right, we got to duck way to the bottom here. We want nothing to do with all these jingle dongs. Look at these guys. They're just all over the place. Here I can just sail it down into this corner. Three wide, 
three wide. You're in the middle. I mean, I am. I'm like feathering middle throttle left. and the turn. I mean, it's a. It's really fun to drive. It's very challenging. Right. I will say that for sure. But um, it's a little out of control for for a controller. As I said you can feather a. You can turn a steering wheel a little less and, and back and forth, but when you have to let the turn off on a, a controller, it's a little weird. But, I mean, it, it isn't bad. It's it's certainly... Uh, we're going to get stuck in here behind Blaney. No pick for you, Vickers. So we're in the top ten. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm utterly shocked that we're running this far up towards the point. I mean... We just got by Stewart fairly easily. So I don't know if, if, uh, if my setup is good on the long run. I don't know what's going on, frankly. I, I really can't explain it. I mean, I, I can really sort in there deep on uh, on these guys, and then and then I just have to well, basically manage the gap on my exit so I don't lose too much of my ground. It's a very weird, uh, it's a very weird issue. I mean, but I, I don't know. We'll continue it. I got, what, probably a lap on fuel left? I just need to make sure I don't take him out, because I could never forgive Driver myself. Two seconds ahead. Okay, honey down. You got a better run than me. On the outside. I mean, I didn't wear the tires out too bad, but I'm, I'm definitely noticing how slow I am. But I got nobody in my rear view, so as long as I get to pit road in a semi-timely manner, I, uh, I think I can manage. And the other thing, too, is I can fuel, still buddy. up my brake bias. I'm going to follow Do clean down to. into pit road here. Alright, so we're Let's gonna do four, four tires. tires. Let's see what else we can do. Here. On the wall and ready. Not gonna change anything there. Not gonna, I don't need to change anything on that car. I mean, one second I'll take it, I guess, whatever the issue might be. Um, I suppose I could bring this pressure down a little bit. It always helps to have a little low, lower pressure. Bring this one down. So we'll take it down. Let's see what we do. Let's see where we end up. I was actually not the first car on pit road. Or no, I shouldn't say the first. I wasn't even the last car on pit road. Uh, yeah, we're still looking okay. Let's see. Come on, come on. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Did I get out ahead of him? No, nope, because Austin got out ahead of me. Now that's one of the fastest of the day. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. Although Kane got out behind me, so. We're still one of the fastest cars out there. Keep hitting your marks. Hmm, I see my oil temp is really high. We've been here before, buddy. Come on, let's pick it up. a little early. Try to stay down on the apron. All right, now I can mesh up. I'm going to have to watch that temp. All right, so we're running about 22nd, but again, there's a lot of guys that need to pit yet. So we're, we're going to have to wait, because Truex is on pit road now. And oh, let's see, Brad Kozlowski was the car that was ahead of me. But because of the timing of the pit stops, I'm really not sure who's going to be, you know, kind of the, the guy in the in my in my sights. Uh, Kane was the one I was racing with. He is now behind me. So... I, I'm not sure. This might actually Trix might be the leader. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's already leaving pit road. Come on, you so got uh, it. can't say I can, right. I know for sure how he did that. And there wasn't an early yellow either, so I'm not sure how these guys got so far ahead of us. Oh, Trix is just now getting. Okay, he has the number one pit box, so he is not gonna be. Okay, to He go. will not be staying ahead. Hmm, that was bad. I hit the hit the apron there. So definitely pitting early helps. Um, only question is, oh man, my stupid engine temp is way too high. Ah, dang it. All right, let's up my brake bias a little bit. So let's really sail this sucker down into a corner. It's very nice. I you like how I can really feather that throttle around on the bottom. Uh, the car really slows down, though. I mean, you can see how much it slows down after one lap. But Okay, so we're running about 7th. Um, it's not a terrible spot to be running, honestly. Um, as I said, I do not think I have a race-winning setup under this car. Um, I can really sail it down into these corners, which is kind of nice. Could uh, help me save gas later, but oh, you can see how tight it gets off the corner. Man, that is tight! I feathered that throttle for half the corner, and I still lost it. 
It looks like King's probably going to get to me on this next lap. My engine is absolutely burning up. Oh, that's frustrating. I can't believe the, that there's the that much grill tape on it, like but it's going to blow the thing up. Well, I'm not going to lie. My only option may be to just go ahead and pit it before the thing blows up. Because I, I'm guessing the thing's going to be telling me there's been, you know, non-repairable damage to it. Oh, look at how straight this thing tries to go off the corner. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this thing is horrendous. We're going to have to go to the pits Good again. I, I don't side. know what I can do to this. Man, Sail it off on the corner, and the thing just absolutely will not turn. All right, that's good. Tuck in right there. Right side's clear. Looking high. Clear up high. You need some fuel. I think we should change those tires. Seventy percent. Right, Come on. In and out. It's gonna have to take that down to forty. I mean, we'll just take the four tires again and repair what we can. It's at ninety-two percent, so I definitely blew the engine out of this darn thing. Shoot. It's an error with the setup. I, I should, didn't even see it in practice that it was this bad. So uh, we're going to have an extra stop on the other on the rest of this field, but I think I can make it on it's one more stop place. after this. Um, and I think everybody else might be in that same boat, so I just might be pitting early, which means I will have longer runs than those guys will, um, as long as they don't make it to 21. Anyone who makes it to lap 21, I am probably going to be screwed. So we'll find out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's see. Man, it feels like forever when you're on pit road this long. Who knows? Maybe we'll get out in a good spot and like, not crazy high traffic or anything, and we'll be Let's able go. to. Uh, oh, good lord, Mike on that. Uh, maybe we'll be able to cam, get a, a nice fighting. solid, uh, nice solid gap on these guys. All right, so there's Larson, and I'm just going to go ahead and shift it up into fourth, slide up here by Paul Menard, and I am in 43rd. Although I am racing guys for position back here, so let's find out if I can make that uh, 40%. Uh, make that work a little better. So a little bit less grill tape now. So we'll see if we can uh, make up some ground. See if we can cool this sucker down. That engine was way too hot. They're waving halfway. Come on, let's do this. Looking really good right here. I mean, you can see I can gain a ton of ground on the entrance of the corner. But getting out of the corner is another thing. That's just fresh tires right there. there you go. So we'll see. I might be able to be in a pretty competitive spot. But you can see right here, I'm, I'm about to get past just straight up on motor. Because I, I damaged one so bad earlier. Hopefully it... I don't know if the damage actually repairs the, the engine damage when you run it too hot. But we'll find out, I guess. So Truex is up there. I'm not too... F I mean, we don't know where I am, I guess. Um, we'll see how I cycle out. It's starting to cool down a little bit. I mean, I'm at 40%. If I gotta go less than 40, then I might be, uh, way off on my setup there. Uh, that's Car too much. Come bit. on! Really? That's too much? That's too much? Like I said, this thing gets nasty tight after about one or fast. two laps. I mean, it is undrivable. I mean, right there, is, if I can get it to pinch right, and even here you can see it is sliding up the hill. It is just tight, 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 tight. I mean, I cannot get this thing to turn. I've go, got just really insane good, amounts of wedge we in it. Highest focused. amount of track bar I think I've ever run in one of these cars is close to nine and a half. I mean, look at this thing. It is just evil. I'm getting frustrated, man. I can't believe back. how bad this car is. And block the guys behind me, I guess. I mean, it's just nasty tight. Like, you, I gotta low. just over rotate the corner, I guess. I can, if I get to the gas a little later than what I'm supposed to, I think I can make it work. But put it on the low side. Three wide, two outside. Let's see. I guess that kind of depends on where we cycle out on pits, but I'm starting to get that engine cooled down a little bit. Maybe that's what I got to do. Just rotate the corner a little Clear differently. Bring the gas in instead of at the apex, but bring it on at the three-quarter mark of the corner. So really sail it down in there 
and then pick the throttle up really late. It might the be the best way to run this track. I don't like it, but maybe my only option, honestly. So I'm, I'm running right here with uh, with Kane. So, um, let's see, did we cycle out on pit stops already? It looks like Patrick is the only one that's not cycled out yet. So Kane's actually on a lot fresher tires than me, which makes me feel a little bit better um, as far as where I'm running. But I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of my tires a little bit sooner. But I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to still get, I think, a solid top 10 out of this. So I'm okay with that. I will settle for that. I, I thought I was going to be a lot better. That's why I ran the stock uh, stock engine and some other pieces that are kind of upgrades. Um, but I don't think that's going to be meant to be today. So we just got to get to about lap 22, and I think we can be, I think we'll make it from there. May even have to let it, uh, may even have to let it go ahead and coast it down into some of these corners a little long. Just see if I can manage to save a little fuel. Because I've hit it on lap 14, so I've made it six laps. Uh, I'm going to have to stretch it just a little bit more yet. About your fuel. You run a little low. Yeah, we're going to try and just draft this one off here, I think. Because um, I'm definitely not uh, not quite safe on fuel, but my engine temp is back down to where it probably should be. I still right. need to pull a little more tape off, most likely. We're just going to coast this thing down in here. I mean, we're full-blown coast. I mean, now I'm on the brake, but we're just going to try and see how much gas we can save. Because I don't not... I'm not even making it seven and a half laps yet, so... I mean, we're going to be pinching the fuel a little bit. But I think I'm going to go next time around and see if I can make that work. So I'm 10 seconds off anyway. I, it's not race winning speed by any stretch of the imagination. So next lap Our is when I'll probably have to come in. 14 to 22 is 8 laps. So we're going to be right on the nose. I may have to run a little bit of fuel conservation late in the race. Um, but from P6, you know, we'll see where it ends up in taking me. Because um, I definitely don't think I can get two more laps out of this tank. At least not at a competitive speed. So we'll see if we can get ourselves a top five out of this at least. Um, looks like Jimmy Johnson's pretty much running away with this thing, so don't really have to worry about anything else now. But uh, I think if I pit here, I can still make it to the end. We're going to have to find out because I don't think I can make it another lap. Let's not get caught speeding on pit road. Okay, let's gas her up. Alright, so we're going to do four tire, tires. Um, by, I'm not actually upset at all. I'm going to take the grill tape down one more notch. And I think that's just where I'm going to leave it. This this car's not terrible right now. It's I definitely got some room to go. But, uh, you know, what you going to do about it? So, there's a couple guys behind me actually following me in. So, we'll see if those guys can make it. I know I'm, I thought I pitted early last time trying to save my engine. But, looks okay, like so guys, far we're doing alright. My only shot maybe would have been to go no tires, just go with a splash of fuel or, or full fuel or something, but it's Fontana. You'd, I'd, I'd have been run over. I don't even honestly know if I would have been able to hold off Jimmy anyway. So we'll run a few hard laps, see if we can get uh, see what we can get out of it, see where we end up on track. Maybe we can great, find ourselves buddy. into the, the top five here. Nobody's going to pull over and make it easy for us today. Got to go get it. Oh, I don't want to get up in front of Harvick, but it's a tight squeeze. All right, so that's 12th place. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Oh, man, look at that. Look at all the momentum I just lost for that. That's going to cost me. That just pretty much ruined my first little outlap. Come on, man. JJ Yeely, what's he doing? Is he going to block me again? No, he's not. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to punt him. I'm not a very nice uh, game driver. <laughs> I'll, I'll send him. I'll go full send on him. There's Biffle. Clear left. 
Where's the other guys? There's some people coming out of the pits right now. So Truex is our leader. Kind of want to see where I cycle out compared to the guys I was racing around earlier. Well, all right, there's Kane, so I'm going to pass him. But he's going to have fresh tires. He's probably still going to be able to get me. Unless, uh, well, he's a little ways back there. I might be safe. Now I just got to see if I can make it. Because Johnson is still easily going to be the guy to beat. I don't think there's any contest there. The but yeah, it looks like uh, Fontana, if I just give him a little more patient getting on the back on the gas, I can I can manage it. You know, four tenths off my fast time, but that's okay. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it does seem to hold on a little bit better in the long run. And I mean the long run, not like five laps, but more towards the eight lap mark. And with the four times usage, it, you know, it's a little bit more exaggerated. Yeah, Kane's about a second back. Smith is up there. Truex is just now on pit road, I believe. So I, I will I will definitely be getting past Truex. Justin Allgaier to the lead. What do we have here? So Justin Allgaier has fought uh, three laps now to try to make really it on good. fuel. On, I will be very curious to see how this plays out. can make this work. Oh, wow, that's tight. <laughs> so we got Vickers up in sixth. Interesting. And Allgaier is still running. So I'm really curious to see how this plays out, because I don't know that he can make it, I wouldn't think. He hasn't done it all day yet. All right, is anyone else on pit road that I'm passing right now? It looks like I'll pass David Ready to go. Yeah, no, so nobody on pit road actually. Looks like it's all pretty well played out. So where we are is where we are for about the next three laps. Um, if Justin Allgaier happens to need to pit, then it looks like I might have one more spot. Holy cow! I, man, I was lifting that whole time. Is he pitting this time? Yeah. Okay, he's pitting now, and Jimmy Johnson is 13 seconds ahead. So he's just running away. Nobody's touching Jimmy Johnson today. Jimmy Jam is. He is out for a stroll, man. I guess we'll just see if we can hold on to this top five spot. I'll be happy with that. Two to go. So I'm gonna have to battle my favorite driver for uh, top five here. Put it on the low side. Oh, I got I got back to the gas real good there. That should pretty much settle it for me. So I'm gonna pull out to over a second here. So looks like we're gonna have about a fifth place run. I'm okay with that as long as nothing really crazy happens. Because uh, nobody, I was the first one on pit road, so I should be the last, I mean, in terms of fuel-wise, I should be the one in the biggest, you know, trouble. Um, and I can see, judging by the uh, spacing out here, so, it'll, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, as long as nothing crazy happens in this last lap, we're going to be fifth place, so. I wonder what will ever happen to this auto club, if they're going to run it one more time next year, or if they're just going to start demolishing it. Because they really didn't say anything after this year's got moved due to the COVID stuff, which, frankly, now looks really embarrassing because COVID was not near as bad. Ah, I just nailed the rotor. Are you kidding me? It's the last dang lap. That's stupid. Shouldn't have done that. I should have just let off. Checkered flag. Yeah, now the thing is, like, nasty tight. <laughs> oh, my word. You can see how much I have to lift once you hit that wall just one extra time. Looks like he's going to tuck in a draft behind you. Can't see it. All right, we'll take it. We'll... Wait, it what? Done, man. Oh, fifth. Okay, Justin Allgaier somehow jumped me on the scoring pylon, so that was interesting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we ended up in uh, fifth place. I'll take a top five. Hopefully that'll earn me a sponsor here. Um, let's, let's check our results out quick. So uh, we have Jimmy Johnson leading 11 laps and just utterly destroying the field. Um, looks like he won by five seconds, and then it was Jeff Gordon, Brad Kozlowski, Brian Vickers, and Race Craze, Race Craze, so me. Um, Casey Kane in the sixth, Clint Boyer seventh, Truex in eighth, Jeb Burton ninth, and Ryan Newman in tenth. Uh, let's see, Mears, McMurray, Kyle Busch, Stenhouse, Kensett, Bobby Devaney, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards, and Greg Biffle, Almarola, Yaley, Earnhardt Jr., Patrick Wise, Harvick, Almendinger, Menard, Elliott, Tony Stewart, and who's our suckers of the day? Dylan Logano, Allgaier, man, that strategy. He led a couple laps, I'll give him that. 
But then you got uh, McDowell Smith, Witt in it, Walter Blaney. Who's our Who's our real suckers? Oh, Kyle Larson. What happened there? Did he He must have had an issue. Look, so 38, 13, 38, 45, 37, 95. What was mine? 39? Wow. So apparently Eric Almarola was consistent but really slow. Um, and what was my best lap? My best lap was a 38, 35. So I, sure, I certainly don't belong in this top 10 here, judging by the rest of it. Uh, Jeb Burton was close to me on speed, but looks like everybody else was quicker. So... All right, so we're going to call that a race. Um, let's go ahead and continue back and see where we're at. So as of January, who's uh, New Hampshire? Mm, Jeff Burton, because that was a caution-free race that they ran back in 1999. Let's see what else we got. 2015, uh, one on their birthday, Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth, and I think it's Dale Jarrett, but I'm going to go Yarborough. It is Yarborough. Okay, good, good guess. All right, so let's see. I'm up to 12th in the standings. I've got three top 10s. Uh, let's see. So our chase format, I think, is only 12 drivers. So i got to keep moving up still. Wow, Chase Elliott's in the top 10? I'm a little surprised. So who do I, who has a win so far? So Truex has a win. Almondinger has a win. Jimmy now has a win. Uh, looks like Harvick has a win. I have a win. And anyone else down here have a win? No, I think I'm the lowest in points with a win. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kyle Larson is just brutal, man. What's going on down here? Uh, let's see, did we get a new sponsor? We did, today, so we're going to add a new sponsor so to our cup car here. Um, we'll actually end up taking that into our next uh, our next round here, so uh, we can, we'll can we we'll do that for the next race. We'll uh, update our car and then go racing. Uh, let's take a look at our preview for next week. Um, Martin's, oh God, oh, that sponsor's going to want to jump off this car after next week. We'll see what we find out, but man, I suck at Martinsville, so we're going to have to hope for the best here. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at Martinsville, so we're going to have to have a lot of practice on that one. Um, so anyway, that'll wrap up today's video. Um, top five, I'll take it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Uh, I got more diecast reviews coming as usual. Uh, obviously, I won't be abandoning the diecast stuff. And um, also check out rasdiecast.com for your pre-orders. Uh, that's my my website. So uh, go ahead and check that out. I will have some stock items coming soon. I can't wait for to get that stuff on. But for now, I just have the pre-orders. Um, so Blaney's Atlanta race win and um, Truex's Phoenix race win are the two I have up and, and live right now. So go ahead and check those out. Those will be in the description. But otherwise, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in next week's edition of the NASCAR Career Mode.